Oh, what is going on, YouTube? Coming back at you with another video, man. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, hope everybody's doing well on this beautiful day that the Most High created. I hope everybody's having a good day, man. You know, y'all staying safe out here. Um, you know, I um want to make this video. This gonna be like a um. I hope it reach somebody. I pray it does reach somebody. You know, because um. This is a word that has to be said, told, you know, um, smoking weed. Now, a lot of people want to know, is smoking weed bad? And are you supposed to smoke weed? Does God like when you smoke weed? Well, um, let me just say this, because um, oh, another thing is, well, people say, well, God created weed. God put weed here. He, he created it. He... Yeah, he did. God did create weed. Everything he created was good. But what? Man sought out many inventions. Many inventions, man. A lot of the stuff that you see invented on this earth right now, God didn't create that. A lot of stuff that you see, he did not create. Man created most of the stuff. Most of the stuff that's bad for you. You know, God created stuff that's good. And so, when you think about weed, weed is a plant, right? Made from hemp. You know, and God created weed to create things, you know. Like you see most, um, you got hospitals that's using weed now. You know, liquid marijuana. That's that's what they're using in the hospitals for people, you know? See, stuff like that is okay. It's good. But what I mean is stuff like, oh, um, you know, smoking smoking a blunt, you know, rolling rolling it up and stuff, you know. So let's let's compare, you know. And why I say that what God created was good. Man saw that many inventions. Look at this. Look at alcohol, for example. Okay? Getting drunk and stuff. See, God God created wine. Wine he created. Paul gave Timothy wine for his stomach. Because wine is good for the stomach. But what's going on now? Ciroc, Hennessy, Patron vodka uh etc etc you know some you know prime example like that god didn't create syrup or hennessy and all that other mess he didn't create that just like for weed you know god created the plants weed but what you got now og kush moon moon rock uh what is it uh, people be like, it's that gas, it's that loud. God didn't create that. Man created that. Man created that. See, see, people use the stuff that God created, and then they wanna, they wanna make it into their own stuff. They wanna add their own own stuff inside of it, ingredients inside of it. You know. But, you know, and that's and and. That's what I mean right there. So let me just say this. God don't want you smoking weed. He don't want you smoking weed. He wants you to be sober and vigilant. Sober and vigilant. Message to all the drug dealers too. Come on our drug dealers. Um, if y'all know anybody that's a drug dealer, share this message with them. If you are a drug dealer, uh, listen closely. Um, Drug dealers work for satan they work for the devil okay their job is to keep you high is to keep that product going is to keep spreading out this weed to everybody giving it to everybody giving it to everybody so that they can be so so that they can they can keep on being an addict and and keep them high and stuff so that they won't focus on on the um devil when he like when he comes up you know 
so that he won't focus on the devil. So that's a drug dealer's job is to keep that OG Kush going out, that moon rock and stuff going out. That's their job to do that. Satan's work. They work for Satan. That's what drug dealing does. For and, and message to all the ones who say, oh man, oh, well, man, you know, this is all I know. This is all I know. I've been doing this for such and such years and stuff, such and such years and stuff. Yep. Yep. And, and you're going you're gonna to keep doing it and you're going to end up getting caught and end up getting some jail time. Or put it like this, you're going to do it, do it until you die and then your soul going to go straight to hell because you was doing Satan's work. Hey, just tough love, tough love, you know, to all the weed smokers and stuff out there. Um, weed is, weed, see, let me just say this about me. I was a weed addict. I was an addict. Man, I was smoking weed left and right, bro, and loving it. I was never a drinker, never a drinker. Everything about drinking is disgusting to me. Everything about drinking, everything. I was a, I was a weed addict. That's that's what I did. I smoked weed. But you know, and most people, most people, you know, are smokers and drinkers. A lot of people like that. A lot of people are, are addicts to smoking and drinking. They love they love to do both of them at the same time. See, that's why you say all these people who they can't wait till their birthday come up so that they could be so high out of their mind. They could be high the whole weekend and stuff. You know, stuff like that. It's, it's stuff like that that's like, you know, sad. It's sad because, because most people are not woke to this stuff. Most people don't understand that what they're doing is wrong going down the wrong path smoking weed on a spiritual level see this this where you get you open your spiritual eyes up for weed weed draws in demons weed draws demons into your life they come into your body because you're you're high you 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 know you're high and that's a portal for a demon to come into your body. While you're high, they can be, you know, playing with your mind and stuff. And, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And most people think that smoking their light, like with their problems, they could just smoke and and your, your problems will go away. No, because getting high is only a temporary feeling. It's only temporary. Then when that, when that high go back down, you back feeling the same way. You know, you back feeling the same way. So, did that did that blunt? So that's let's ask yourself: Did that blunt really help you? Did it really help you? Because when you when you smoke and try to smoke your problems away, your problems come stronger when you when you smoking weed. This and this for everybody who smoke weed. Will, will I understand what I'm saying? You know, because when when you when you high. You allow the demon to come in, and then now they, they might be playing with your mind about that, that situation that you're in, that you're trying to get away from by smoking weed. No, it's only going, going to bring that situation back to you stronger. This is real stuff, man. Most, most people are not going to accept this. They're not going to accept it because most people get sensitive and unsubscribe, turn the video off, put a comment under your videos and talking about oh you a liar uh who are you and all that you you know stuff you know people like that is just childish childish and want to continue to be on the wrong path but um everybody's not perfect everybody is not perfect you know and that's what i'm saying we when you you know why you think that you're high see most people most people are not going to believe me when I say this, but when you high, right, and your eyes get, get red and stuff, don't you know that that's a demon, you know, that's in your body and stuff, that your eyes is red? See, see people are going to think that I'm, I'm talking crazy now. 
No. Nah. This is real stuff. Just like when you get drunk, a demon operates your body. This is, hey man, I'm telling the truth, y'all. I'm telling the truth. I'm not, I'm not lying to you. You got to understand what we living in, y'all. This, this stuff in this world is corrupted. A lot of this stuff is corrupted, man. Social media, the food, the uh, drinks, you know, the weed, the alcohol, and the people, you know. Uh-oh. Did I say that one? Yep. The people. Because well, if, if you read your Bible, if people, it says right there that we are living with Satan's, it may, you know, we are living with, with Satan's children. We are living with Satan's children. God said that he's at the at the end, he's going to separate the wheat and the tares. He's going to do the separation at the end. We think that, that he was talking about. He's going to separate Satan's children and his children. He's going to do the separating. But that's why it's our job to fight. Fight while we still living and breathing to fight so that we will we will end up on the right side, on the good side, and not on the bad side of hell. And that torment. And if your name is not found in a in a um in a uh, land book of life, you going to the lake of fire. Point blank, period. Believe me or not, you don't gotta believe me. You know, but. Oh, and, and once again, unbelief won't make it into heaven. Remember that. Unbelief will not make it into heaven. You know? So, y'all, you know, I'm, I just want to make this video, you know, about weed because about smoking weed. Yes, smoking weed is bad. The Bible says be sober and vigilant. So, you see, we're not... When I was smoking weed, you know, I actually sat down and I thought about it. I just thought about it, you know. See, this is the power. So I know everybody not the same, but see, this is the God gave all of us the power to to overcome any any addiction that we have. He gave us the power to overcome it. He gave us a he gave us self control, but he also blessed us with free will. So you know, I I um. I just sat down and, and I thought about it for weed. I'm sitting here getting high, right? You sit there and you get high, which is only a temporary feeling. It's only temporary. Like, do you do you not like do you not see like what's going on with that? Do you not see like what's what's going on with that? Do you not see that you know it's to a point where I ask myself why why am I doing this? Why am I why am I smoking? Like what what am I smoking for? For the for the feeling of it? For the feeling to be high? Is that why? For the for the for the feeling to be high? That's why I'm smoking? You know? And then I thought, and then I said to myself, I said, okay, okay, you're, you're getting high, but in the, in a couple hours and from like two or three hours, this high is going to go down and you're going to want to get high again. It's just a whole pattern, a whole rotation. So that's why I say smoking weed can stop your life, man. It can, it can put your life on pause. Because most people don't understand that when you when you when you smoking in that life of smoking weed, you're un, you are unmotivated. You're not motivated to do anything. You you want to just when you get high, you want to just sit around and don't do nothing. A lot of people, everybody ain't like that who smoke weed, but a lot of people do. I was one of them. But that's why when you see these rappers and stuff, these rappers they they be on their they be in their video smoking weed. They be smoking weed. Um, every, every time you see them, they got a blunt in their mouth. You know? And 
do you not know that when you when you going through something and you think that smoking weed is going to get your problems away or drinking that is idolatry that is idolatry you are idolizing weed or um drinking because you're not going to god with your problems you're going to alcohol you're going to weed oh put like this you going to your to your your uh boyfriend your girlfriend your husband, your wife, you going to them. You know? You looking for another source to go to. You looking for something else to um um get rid of your problems, which all that other stuff that I just said is not gonna get rid of your problems. But God. God's the only one who will um get rid of your problems. But it's your free will. It's all of our free will. We all have free will. You know, God spoke to me like two days ago. He, man, you know, I was driving and I just thought about it and not seeing this video. I was like, dang, you know, um, it's it's hard, y'all. It's hard to make it into heaven. Bible tells you that too because it, God said that, that that path is narrow. That path is narrow. That show you how hard, and, and he said that it's going to be many going through that wide gate to destruction. That shows you how hard it is to get into heaven. It's hard because many people are not going to give up their lifestyle of sin. Most people feel like they got to be cool on this earth. They don't want to worship God because their friends going to laugh at them. Their family going to laugh at them. Well, in the long run, all the ones who laughing at you going to be going through that wide gate. That wide, wide gate to destruction. God said it's going to be few in heaven. Few people will be in heaven. Think about it, y'all. Billions of people have died already. Billions of people are living right now. It, it, and it will only be few in heaven. A few people will be in heaven. Think about how many of that few. And, and no Jehovah Witnesses. No, it's not only just the, the um, um, 144,000 chosen few. No, that is a lie. You know, and, and, you know, like I said, when I was uh driving the other day, I thought about how hard it is to get into heaven. And I just thought about it and God showed me something, you know, how many he showed me that it would be a lot of people going through that wide gate. But um, and I was like, you know, I want to I want to be there, too. But then he said. Free will. Free will. That's 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 what he told me, he said free will God doesn't force you to don't force you to to uh, worship him he don't force you to to uh please him with your lifestyle he don't he don't force you to do that you know it's your free will you choose to smoke weed you choose to drink that alcohol and get so drunk that you you don't know where you at you choose to go fornicate you choose to um 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 commit adultery you choose to do that this this is all free will, people. This is free will. You make your life what it is, how it is, the way it is. You know? You choose to do that stuff. God don't make you sin. You choose to. Smoking weed is not good. You not God do not want you smoking weed. When I say it's a sin, I believe, yes, I believe it's a sin. I believe smoking weed is a sin. I I know it doesn't say in the Bible, you, oh, you, uh, um, it said drunkenness in the Bible, but it never said anything about smoking weed. But God said be sober and vigilant. I'm not sure what scripture it, it, that one is, but it says, um, the Bible talks about don't put no, nothing filthy in your in, in your body and stuff. Um, anybody who know that that scripture, can you just put it down in the comments or, or some you know so people can see? But um, yeah, it, the Bible talks about filthiness to the body. Don't put nothing filthy in the body. Cigarettes, weed, alcohol, you know, bad food. But yeah, y'all, all that smoking weed and stuff. That's witchcraft also. 
smoking weed is witchcraft. And what does what does God what does the Bible say about witchcraft? That's sorcery. That's of the devil. It will not inherit the kingdom. Wizards, you know, won't inherit the kingdom. So y'all, you know, um, yes. So once again, if you if you heavy on weed smoking and stuff, just know that you won't inherit the kingdom if you you smoking all that weed and stuff. It won't. It, it don't. You won't inherit the kingdom. And that's not me talking. That's the Lord. I'm just I'm just a messenger. Smoking all that weed will not inherit the kingdom. You know, y'all. So with that being said, I um, just wanted to make that video. You know, not too long, not 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 a long video or, or anything. You know, just to get the point across to y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.